Hello, this is the second experiment for the simulation of uh, flying ad hoc network FNATS or UAV multi-system. This experiment we change uh, some uh, network parameters and uh, routing protocol and as a three dimension model to make the simulation is very clear to real world and get the correct performance from the FNET. So our program start with the headers of uh, program used then we define some variables that need after that we create 20 nodes it can be extend to more than uh, to check the network scalability for example we can get uh, 40 or 50 or 60 node also we have uh, the MAC protocol and some feature for physical layers after that we change to the optimized link state routing protocol it can be used in the flying ad hoc network because it can address the challenge and special characters of FNET such as high mobility degree then resulting high dynamicity of network topology also it can uh, support the scalability of network when increase the density of network after that we define the IP address and some other parameters for network network device after that we choose a, a, a real a three dimension mobile to mobile because it's very important to reflect the performance of the fnet so we must choose a correct uh, mobile to mode three dimension mobile to model because the fnet move in uh, three dimension and change the direction and speed uh, infrequently this is pattern model for the three dimension and how each node will move so it is this uh, this mobile model will be used in the simulation also we choose UDB as a transport protocol MIG port we increase the time of the simulation from 20 to 50 seconds to get a performance with the high accuracy and as the time of the simulation increase we can get a better result for performance then we increase the traffic traffic load in the node to 30 packets maximum number of packets can be sent also we use a packet size uh, from uh, 124 bytes okay after that we record all the events in tracing file and pack up file and create an emitter and then stop the simulation okay it be significant experiment simulate the performance now we run uh, this simulation so we write the command wav hash run scratch fnet for and press enter we will see the compiling uh, this is the number of packets that sent during the simulation we have 30 packets sent and each packet size as I told 1024 bytes and IP address port okay so we have 30 packets sent during the simulation which was 50 seconds from the source node the destination node using all our uh, OLSR routing protocol and three dimension Gauss Markov mobility model as the real world UAV uh, system so the tracing file is great we can check it later and also we run the network animator to see the performance uh, and the simulation of this node press enter this is the network animator for ns3 we load the file okay
just a minute this is fnet x M XML is the extension for the file that can support the network animator in NS3 open it so we have this uh, area it's uh, dimension 2 km by 2 km and uh, height uh, altitude up to 1 km but the UAV not up to this flight we specific the altitude as a real world so we can run the simulation and see how the performance simulated of UAV uh, change the node size ok here we see 20 knots moves as in real world with the dimension mobility model in dimension 2 km by 2 km we can extend the density of network to 40 or 50 or 60 to up to 100 nodes one node is as server and uh, other nodes as uh, client send the packet from source to destination also this uh, simulation uh, is uh, focused on UAV to a UAV application because we have uh, three types of UAV application UAV to UAV, UAV to ground station and UAV to uh, vanit this is the first type of application we see the simulator time will finish at 50 seconds After the simulation is finished, we can measure the performance metrics for the FNET network, okay, uh, such as uh, quality of service metrics, throughput, packet loose, packet delivery ratio, and latency, because uh, latency is very important in the FNET application, sometimes uh, application in real time is uh, very critical to latency other application require a throughput high throughput also we can measure the routing per metrics such as overhead and selecting number of multi-point relay it will reflect how we can reduce the number of overhead and the number of message exchange in the network also uh, energy is very important parameter to be measured because this uh, dev flying device or flying node uh, supported by battery so it is limited to energy all these uh, parameters will be measured and analyzed the routing protocol can be modified to make some enhancement to the routing uh, performance and routing metrics Okay, this is the end of second experiment.